and we'll be so careful to bless it under your name. And it's in the more specialist and mighty name of Jesus the Christ we pray. And we declare that the decree to present the plan that is already done. And it is so.
welcome you all here on this evening to honor a great, wonderful, amazing man of God, yes. Professor yes. Craig Joseph Adams. I'm not good at this, but welcome y'all to fellowship with us. Stomp your feet, clap your hands, shout if you need to. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we give the Lord a hand clap of praise on today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is such an honor to be here to uh, celebrate and to support our brother Craig Adams and to all of the Gospel Soul children and to all of you, the men and women of God. We thank you for that welcome and we receive it and we came to have church. Anybody came to have church? Put your hands together and give God some glory. You've been with us at Ebenezer for 17 years. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Before then, I'm not going to tell the whole long story today, but I met you before then, but you've been playing for us, the Ebenezer, for 17 years, and then you played with me with Abundant Praise for a number of years, and then so many other things that I had to do for the Lord, you were there. Yeah. And uh, one of the most important things in my life is to do God's will. You know, that's the most important thing in my life to do what the Lord wants me to do. And Professor, you've been there to help me to do God's will. And I want to tell you thank you for that. Recently, I'm talking about years, years, years. And you know, thank you may not seem like a whole lot, but I want to tell you, thank you for that. You helped me to do God's job well. And I want to tell you, thank you for that. Thank you for helping me. And you know, you didn't just come and came with a good attitude, with skill, and the Holy Ghost will touch you and shout right along with us. And I want to tell you, thank you for that. That's all I want to say. Thank you, Fess. Thank you. And that's my name I gave him, y'all. That's his worldwide name, not Professor, but I gave him that name, Professor. And I want to tell you, thank you, Fess. And we love you. We're going to sing a little bit, sing our two little songs, and we're going to run out the door. Amen. Praise, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs>
of the Union Baptist AME Church, I would like to say thank you. Thank you. I'm a headache, a pinch, and thank you. <laughs> Oh! 
your musicality, your brilliance. And God, I don't want to get in trouble, but if I don't say this, it just would not be right. God is calling for your music, Craig. He's calling for your arrangements, for your writing, for what he has given you to share with everyone. I sat here tonight, and I've been traveling, and we've been going to choir stuff all over the world, and what they do all over the world is they unite. I went to Baltimore, and they do what is called the second Sunday night broadcast. I got there, and I thought I was coming to, you know, a musical. There was 1,500 people in there, and there were 400 people in the choir stand. Guess what? They weren't a part of one group. They were from all of the Baltimore area coming together once a month to sing good old church music. And I don't know what I'm going to have to do, but I'm praying that my directors, my big brothers, my uncles will stand with me, my aunts, and once a month we can get together. No, for real. You got a crowd, you got a crowd, we got a crowd, but let's put the crowd together. And once a month we can bring a good old days concert. We can feed it, we can make it great, we can make New Orleans gospel music great. I believe it. It's time out for the vision. You are uniquely designed. Tyrone is a choir master. If I learn nothing from Tyrone is to direct with poise and with accuracy. If I didn't learn nothing from Pastor Landrum, I learned how to hold a rehearsal with no music in sight. I learned nothing from Miss Veronica Downs Dorsey. I learned how to sight read. If I learned nothing from Clyde, I learned how to take care of this instrument. I gleaned from you legends. And it's now time for the millennials to find out what gospel music is. Don't nobody want to be told nothing. Everybody wants to be a praise and worship leader. Nobody wants to get to the fifth row of the choir stand. I remember when the lead singer used to come from the fifth row. Y'all in Evergreen, they didn't even have any mics. When, when Walter Tardy started calling out and playing, you better scream. You better scream. Or you got a meeting with him after Freeman. So tonight, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're a little bit. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. But, you know, y'all see, listen, and I'm talking from my heart. So y'all don't hear me all the time. But when I sit there and I act like I act, I'm not acting like that for a game. But when you sing, when the words come out of your mouth, when you when, 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 when you express yourself musically, it does something to my spirit. When you get out of character for God, it puts me in another place. The world does it all the time. But we cannot win souls for Jesus being boring, being starched. We have to have the fire of the Holy Ghost burning inside of us. That's what he's calling for. A royal priesthood set apart. Yes, yes, yes. That's what he wants. He said, go out therefore into all of the nation and spread the gospel. He wants you to compel me. What you do should be illuminating, exciting, compelling. You don't worry about what's going on at home. You come to rehearsal with the attitude to give God your best because every time you open your mouth, there's a rehearsal. <laughs> Before we see the maker, choir music will not die. Not in this city. <laughs> and not if I have anything to do about it. Clap your hands for Craig Adams. I'm sorry, I don't talk. Pray tonight. I'm sorry we got you working, but I wanted to do some songs that I know 
you would appreciate and you love and you've taught before and you probably ain't heard of in a while. So let's let's do uh -huh, let's go to Memphis with Billy Rivers. Would lift them up. Come on. <laughs> After we go, yeah, that's that's what I'm uh -huh, yeah. Yes, and then after we go there, we're going to go to James Hall and we're going to hold to God's unchanging hand. Uh -huh. And then after that, we're going to conclude with a simple yes from God with James Hall. This is my Craig Adams medley. Clap your hand. Thank you.